Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to check the Google index for potential problems with the WordPress site. The way you do this is pretty simple, and I'm gonna show you right now how to do it. Here are in a Google search bar, and we type in the word site, followed by a colon, followed by your domain name, whatever that domain name may be, and then you press enter. What I've done by using the site colon is I've told Google I wanna see only results that are on the following site, and that site being the domain name that you entered. And what you will find, hopefully everything is well, you will find a bunch of results from your website. So we've entered our test domain, and on this domain, I know that I've installed the themes demo data, which created a whole bunch of pages. And so in here, it says there are about 213 results, which at my best guess, I think is pretty accurate. That doesn't sound unreasonably low or unreasonably high. And what you wanna look for is things that do look unreasonably low. So if you read these results numbers and you're surprised, there might be a problem on your WordPress site. If you come here and the number is way too low, like say you know for a fact you have 150 articles published on your website and the results index only shows five or 10 or 20, there is potentially something blocking Google or discouraging Google from checking out that content on your website and indexing it. So if you do see an issue like that, the best place to look is inside Google Webmaster Tools because they will likely show errors and tell you what the problem is, especially when you include your sitemap in Google Webmaster Tools. And the, the flip side of the coin is if you know for a fact you've published 150 articles and the results numbers here are multiple thousands. And you might at first thought, you might be like, oh, that's great, I've got thousands of pages in Google, but it's actually not great. Because there's if there's multiple thousands of pages, but you know for a fact you've only created 150, there's gonna be a whole bunch of garbage pages or a whole bunch of duplicate content. So it might be the pages over and over and over again, which is bad for SEO. You get a, a Google penalty from having too much duplicate content on your website. And as an example of this, years ago, I had a client who had a bed and breakfast and for their WordPress site, they had a booking plugin. That booking plugin allowed potential clients to book the bed and breakfast well in advance. So when I took over managing this website, I was doing this initial SEO check and I found that there were tens of thousands of pages inside the Google search results. And I went into their website and I thought, there's no way they have that much content. I went into their website and I saw there's only 50 actual pages on the site, but tens of thousands in Google. So what I did was I went to the bottom of the search bar or the bottom of the Google page and I kept clicking the very last number, the very last O. In this case, I only have six, but if you keep clicking the very last O, you're gonna go deeper and deeper in Google results. And usually the crappier results are at the back. And so I kept going until I started getting crappy results that, that weren't actual content on the website. And what I found was their booking plugin generated a page for every day of the year for umpteen years in advance. So a, a potential bed and breakfast uh, customer could book 10 years in advance and that page already existed on the website just for that eventuality. That was not ideal because that's diluting your search results in Google you have a bunch of junk pages with little content that Google's not gonna like, and so they're not gonna send you a lot of traffic. And the, really the end goal is the results or the pages you have in the index are only the pages that further your business. If you have in the index pages of a booking calendar, that doesn't further your business, that hampers it because it's killing your SEO. What furthers your business is an awesome blog post explaining why people should be booking with you and then linking to a calendar, not having 10,000 calendar pages. So again, just to, to recap, we wanna look for results numbers that are either way lower than you expect or way higher than you expect. In both cases, you should be able to get answers from Google Webmaster Tools, or in the case of way too many results, you can often get answers by looking through the search results and seeing whether they're legitimate or not. And the third scenario is that the results numbers are in line with what you expect. So if you have 150 pages on your website and you see 120 or 130 in the index, that's a pretty reasonable number. Usually Google does not index every single one of your pages. 
So if, if the results pages are in line with what you expect, then your site's probably fine in this regard and you can move on to the next video. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more awesome videos just like this and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.